morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday, May 25th. Total crypto market cap sitting at 1.58 trillion per trading view. Decent little um, uptick after our two, one to two weeks of uh, downturn. Same with alts. Alts at 874 billion. Slight uptick from yesterday. And dominance. Bitcoin dominance is kind of flat from yesterday at 44% for Bitcoin, 18% for Ethereum. I think Ethereum went all the way up to 20% um, dominance just in this recent short-term run for them. Total crypto market cap per coin, Gecko, 1.67 trillion. We're up 3.5% for the day, so just slightly up. Looking at categories, AMMs, they've got their own category now. They're up 22%. Hey, Eric, hey, CRX. Yield farming's up 18%. So a lot of DeFi categories are up today. Anybody down today? Fan tokens. Fan tokens still taken. Are there any fan tokens outside of soccer fan tokens? Really quickly. Doesn't look like it. We've got mostly soccer teams. Yes, all. Okay. So if you want to get into there, we're down 56%. Um, if you've missed out on fan tokens before. DeFi Pulse has an error of 500 error. That's odd. So we'll move on to DeFi Llama. 112 billion for DeFi Llamas, flat from yesterday. Ave has the most uh, locked up, and that's probably between Ave Ethereum and Ave Polygon potentially. This chain should really be a multi-chain now. DeFi Pulse still still not coming to today. DeFi Station uh, flat from yesterday with 18 billion in total value locked, slightly upish. NFTs. We have CryptoPunks at the top, NBA Top Shots, and R Planet, same as yesterday, uh, but the volume slightly increased. CryptoPunks um, up to 1.8 per day, NBA Top Shots back above a million, and then everybody else is languishing above uh, below 300,000 per day. Looking at trading volume and some high outliers before we get into organizations. These random tokens, DKKT, SXC, SHIB, SHIB token. Pretty much no outliers today, actually. These are all pretty well established, and they're in the top 30, typically. Don't know what's up with DeFi Pulse today, but we're out. Fortuna, Stitter, that's a... Yeah, I know. There's a lot of random teams on there. I s there was a couple of names I didn't actually know. Here for Ribbon Finance, today we are excited to announce the Ribbon token, the governance token for Ribbon. So if really quickly, for a reminder, crypto structured products on Ethereum, we've got the Ribbon token. This just launched one hour ago. Um, and let's have a read. Since launching April 12th, the open vaults have grown significantly. TVL, 35 million, 1,000 deposit, 1, depositors, 78 million in notional options minted. They're going to continue to make it more community-led, steward the development. They're airdropping 3% of the RBN supply to the following people. Pass and existing users, well done to you early users of Ribbon, active Ribbon Discord members, and users of various option protocols on Ethereum, including Hedgic, Opine, Charm Finance, and Primitive Finance as well. So good job to you guys if anybody's used those options protocols, which Ribbon is airdropping to RBN token. To avoid speculation during the initial bootstrapping, um, RBN is non-transferable, cool, and can only be used for voting on proposals. A total of 1,600 S to qualify for the distribution. They're excited. I'm excited. Everyone's excited. Here you go. You can claim your Ribbon if you're eligible. Be care full of scams and I won't do that now and there we go here is our ribbon finance application we can connect my wallet real quickly Gonna get back over to Ethereum we have a yield product volatility product coming soon principal protection product coming soon <coughs> excuse me and capital allocation product we can also look at my portfolio um, and I've got nothing in there for this wallet and I have no RBM to claim. So this is where we would claim our RBM up here in the top right-hand corner. So that's where we'll stop on Ribbon Finance, but I think this is a pretty big deal. I think there'll be a long-term play in DeFi. Yeah, yes, please, CRX. Um, I would love to see the new NFT chat platform. I don't know if I did. We may have it today in the, um, in the research call, but probably not. So if you have a link, that'd be wonderful. Next up is uh, launch pools. So Coin Analytics, they do some of the best visualizations of crypto in the business. Um, besides already successful development of IDO platforms, Ethereum, um, and BSC, we've got a lot more. So here we are, launch pool platforms 
on top ecosystems. Let's quickly go through this. It looks like Binance Smart Chain, like always, has just a thousand everything. And they've got a couple, about a dozen or more different launch pools. Ethereum's got a few, Dowmaker, TrustWap, Falcon, DuckDow, Paid, and Pools. Solstart has got a few, and that doesn't. Even, there's only three listed there, but we've got much more that we've talked about. Uh, Cardano has two, Cardstarter and Occam. Is that Occam? Yeah, Occam. Polkadot has Genesis Shards and Polkastarter. We've been talking about Genesis Shards yesterday, and they were launching the DAP list. Avalanche on Avalanche, I think they've got one or two more. DeFi Starter on Definity, Pylon on Terra, Thor Starter on Thorchain, and Moon Edge on Polygon. Hadn't heard, haven't heard of Moon Edge before. Oh yeah, Clout Dow. I think we might have Clout Dow in the um in the list. Yeah, here we go. So these are launchpad platforms. This is really cool. Oh, they do have the coming soon tag for a lot of these. But good list here of uh, launch pools. We were talking about IDOs about a month ago when they were really, really hot. And they seemingly still are. So a quick look at CloudDAO that I think I had a look at earlier. Boom, here we go. So here's CloudDAO. Um, their Twitter's, yeah, CloudDAO, based out of Taiwan. And they're launching their inaugural NFT titled Clout Citadel. So here is the Clout Citadel. Cool. Every patron that bids gets Clout Token. The winner gets Lion's Share. Come conquer the Clout Citadel. Let's look at OpenSea. And I think it'll probably take us to... Yep. A link here. Um, the Clout Citadel is getting up to 13.65 ETH, or 35 grand. Cool. Clout is the best NFT marketplace to connect patrons and collectors cool and if we wanted to learn more we could search for patron zero and i think patron zero will be the owner of um, that very first nft so pretty cool Fifty thousand clout will be split among all participants participating patron experience that successfully placed bid on the inaugural nft so if you want, actually interesting so if you want fifty thousand clout um, I think all we have to do is go and bid, and it only costs about five or ten bucks to bid. I wonder if it has to be a higher bid than this, but um, I guess you can't make a bid that goes under this. But very cool um, distribution style. Gotcha. It doesn't seem very decentralized, says CRX. I'm struggling to find a website, but very cool um, concept here for CloudDAO. Can you make a bid under 35000 No, you can't. I can't just put one ETH in here. Um, don't know if I can. I don't have enough ETH to make that small a bid, actually. How much ETH do I have? Well, unsure, but that's Clout Citadel for CloutDAO. Thank you, CRX. Not every bid gets token. Thank you, CRX. Moving on, speaking of launch pools, here's another one. Launch pool labs. Are you ready to be your own VC? Yes, we've been doing it for about nine months now. Launch pool labs is a commuter centric incubator powered by launch pool XYZ. We've talked about launch pool XYZ. They're an egalitarian project investment platform with their L pool token. So let's, this is coming soon. Um, cool. Launch pool labs incubator powered by launch pool XYZ for their L pool community. They've got a Telegram channel, and I think that's about it. 24 hours away, and a lot of suggestions to cover our community. Are you excited to be your own VC? That was 22 hours ago, so maybe we've got a launch. Here you go. Countdown to our first incubator team meeting to discuss community suggestions. Cool. So that's in about two hours. If we check Medium really quickly, nothing yet. Oh. Okay. Well, Launch Pool's coming soon. Uh, launch Pool Labs, excuse me. Here's Artha, product, Artha Protocol. So they're building AUSD, which I assume is the stablecoin for their protocol, a decentralized scaling stablecoin for the future, governed by Artha. Awesome. Based out of Singapore, they just joined in May 2021. They're live on Gitcoin, Gitcoin 20, five days ago. And actually, that's it. From We haven't heard from them in five days. So we'll keep track of them. Hopefully, they keep building. All of our links are in the description. Here, here's Decentrapass. An open source protocol for decentralized password storing in the Ethereum network. 
From the creative Not Your Keys, Not Your Coins comes Not Your Keys, Not Your Password. They will soon release their first fully decentralized password manager where users are 100% in control of their sensitive d data, which that sounds nice. That was listed two days ago. So yeah, they just created DecentralPass and announced it to the world two days ago. The web organization's website will be live soon, and will th so will the DAP released in on the Robstein testnet. Gotta love it. Cool. That'll be interesting to see what they're doing there with decentralized password storing which is a new concept to me, which half of our calls are coming, we're finding these new concepts and being on the cutting edge. Decentralized password storing. Next one up is Minter's Vault. Back up your beloved NFTs to IFPS. This is what I, I think we all, the whole world needs to learn more about. Um, IPF, the storing of decentralized data onto IPFS or Arweave. Here it is. I probably have one NFT that I'd like to back up. Stay in control and protect your NFTs by backing them up using Minter's Vault. Let's do it. Let's back up my, we'll back up my, one of my NFTs here. Awesome. So, here you go. I don't own any replicants, but here's my NFTs. I got a little crypto trunk. I own an ETH address. And that's about it. So I could create a replicant with my crypto trunk here. What does this actually mean? Um... I'm waiting here for them to do something. I can mint, approve, and swap. So we'll see if something happens here while we're waiting. Am I on the Ethereum mainnet? Yes, I am. This is cool. So we're going to create a replicant here for our Minter's Vault. Back up your NFT so that this doesn't happen to you. Maker's Place, the NFT that I purchased from you, broke. The metadata does not resolve. Oh, bummer. So here's a perfect use case for what Make Minter's Vault is trying to do. Um, Pizza Rob here says, who's the founder of Built with Cargo, hello. Ma Maker's Place, the NFT that I purchased from you broke. The metadata does not resolve on IPFS. I wish I would have been able to back it up using Minter's Vault so that I could at least re-upload and unpin files. Ooh, that'd be rough. So, looks like there's his NFT, but it's not there at all. Interesting. What artist NFTs are on central servers and deserve to be backed up on IPFS? All of my NFTs. How about that? We've got a... Actually, let me list... Let me drop this list in here. Here we got a list of different crypto artists. Thank you, Max, Max V. Right? Comparing me to Netflix. But this is pretty cool, Minter's Vault. I'm really hoping we can... This does something here in a second. Oh, you just have to press Mint button. Now it says it's uploading to IPFS from my little crypto trunk here. Boom. Files uploaded to IPFS. Metadata stored at this random place. Can I actually drop this into a URL? No Google, just URL. They still... The answer is no. Uh, below are the files associated with your NFT. Download them and keep them safe so you can upload them to IPFS in the future if you need to. Okay? If everything looks good below, click the Mint to create your replicant. Attributes... Addition, Generative, Sky, Noon. This all looks good, actually. These are all the different traits, and or excuse me, let's get this right, different attributes of the CryptoPunk. Um, the, the Crypto Trunk, the Trait Type, the Value. So under Attribute, you've got Trait Type and Value. You've got a bunch of different traits here. Cool, this all looks good. We've got the Backgrounds here. That's another attribute for these Crypto Trunks. We have Elements that I have, like a Golden Flower and Arsenal arsonist external URL that would actually take me to cryptotrunks.com which is cool ID there's an image there the name the number and the tree cool so to mint this it would cost me 0 0.1 ETH which I don't have actually gas fees kind of high it says 0 0.71 to do this so hopefully prices will go down in the future and that's probably enough about Minter's Vault but very cool uh, very cool product out there from Minter's Vault Moving on to Built with Cargo. Cargo is the easiest, most powerful way to create, manage, and sell NFTs on Ethereum, XDAI, and Polygon. We might have looked at um, Cargo back in the day. Let's browse the marketplace. If I wanted to sign in, use Detected Wallet. Thank you very much. Um, they w Cargo is one of those apps that wants you to sign in. 
verifying digital identity. I really enjoy this and it doesn't cost you anything. This will stop in the future, I think, but we'll see right now. And it does look like it's loading as quickly as I'd like, so we'll let that load. But for those that didn't know, Cargo, easiest, most powerful way to create, manage, and sell NFTs on multi-chain. Next up is Data Independent. The Data Independent Network is all about keeping users' data in their hands and not in the hands of a third party. They've got this thing, theory of autonomous interdependent repositories. Sounds fancy to me. Let's have a look at their pitch deck really quickly, which is dataindependence.net. Here we go. We've got a cooperative, Colorado Public Benefit Corporation. That's interesting to note. Cool. Don't know what they're doing yet. They're looking like, um, oh, they're creating their autonomous independent repositories. Splits the data into relational databases into in a relational database into repositories. Spans multiple tables. So quite interesting and quite complex, to be honest. But very cool. You can have a look if you want to about autonomous interdependent repositories. Seems like it's increasing uh, data independence and data decentralization. Oh, here's a cool resource for more technical reads. Um, here's 0x colon looking into DeFi code bases. So if you go to their Substack, um, here is their Substack, and pretty much it's you know dissecting the Perpetual Protocol, dissecting the Ruler Protocol, dissecting Ribbon Finance Theta Vault. Let's click into dissecting Ribbon's Finance. We just had a look at Ribbon Finance because they just released their RBN token. They wrote about this on April 18th. And if you have a look, I think this is the future of writing where we talk about organizations, then we actually go in and talk about the code. And I think this is really, if you want to be on the cutting edge of crypto writing, um, kind of talking about both code and then explaining the code to non-coders, very, very helpful. So just thought this would be a good resource uh, with dissecting a bunch of different platforms by 0x colon. Here's Nifty Crawler, open source project to bring trust into the world of NFTs. They're analyzing every smart contract in order to verify whether coined NFTs are centralized or not. Awesome. We were also just looking at Minter's Vault. Give me one second. So we could insert a contract address or open C URL. And then I think it'll answer these questions for us. Is the NFT decentralized? Answers a bunch of no's for all the me bits. Ooh, for all the me bits. Um, oh, cool. So here's their metadata from me bits.larvalabs.com. Similar to the crypto trunks, they've got attributes with trait type and value, a description, an image. Cool. So there's the metadata. Me bits gets an F. No decentralized um, NFT. Is the decentralized media? Is the media decentralized? That's a big no. I wish they'd list more than just 10. Uh, are there any more? It's not letting me go next. They've analyzed about 180,000 NFTs from 29 contracts. Should we give it a go? Probably should. If I come back here and I can grab the UR. Oh, that's not the OpenSea URL. That's the Crypto Trunk URL. Never mind. But very interesting here for NFT crawler. Um, you can insert a contract address or an open C URL, and then you can check this contract. If we click into the smart contract, it actually takes us to Etherscan. And actually, I kind of want to do it. So let's go to open C. We'll grab our crypto trunk here. Let's see if a crypto trunk passes the test. Oh, cool. They've got all smart contracts here. Awesome. That's much easier. They've got a bunch of different listed um, smart contracts they've put in. Let's slap in an open C address. It's not really letting me do it. So we'll skip it. Never mind. 
But that is Nifty Crawler, very cool to see, um, bringing trust to NFTs for decentralization of NFT files and media. Next up is layered music, new ways to new ways to beat making and collecting. Generative audio NFTs hosted on the Ethereum blockchain, cool. Very, very cool. Looks like we're on Rinkby. Let me switch over to Rinkby. I really struggle. If anybody has a good account out there for a Rinkby testnet, I really, really struggle to find Rinkby ETH to actually test these websites. I just tried one this morning that was going to send me over one ETH, but they didn't. But if we did have enough ETH, God, it doesn't even cost that much. If we did have a lot of ETH, yeah, bummer. I got no ETH, uh, no Rinkby ETH. We could buy minting tokens, pay 0.5 ETH to, for each track. Please select how many tracks you want to buy. We could generate and mint them. Cool, looks like it's generating a track here. Looks like it's generating random seeds from smart contracts that it's taken down here, which is interesting. Cool, I can mint zero tracks. 47 were created yet out of 720 max tracks. Cool. And then we could listen to the music as well. So not bad, not bad at all. That's layered music. They're bringing generative audio NFT beats to the Ethereum blockchain. They're on Rinkby right now, so you can go and test it. Next one up is Favorite, another charity for crypto. Positively impact the world with NFTs and crypto. Let's see what they are doing specifically. Here we go, it's the future of giving NFTs, DeFi, giving back makes a difference. We've got team and advisor. We've got a team of four here. It looks like the early days. So that's cool. Bringing creators and collectors together, make the world a better place. We'll see a lot of that in crypto, I think. Here's Art2. Art2 Automation, automated gallery systems. Let's go straight to their website. Oh, this is cool. So we got a tiered system here. We could be an artist and pay 24 a month, a gallery pay 130 a month, or run it on autopilot and have them do it for us at 660 per month. Cool. Looks like they're comparing themselves to ArtLogic versus Art2. Interesting. Let's go check a tweet or two. Art2 will be shifting focus to the Solana blockchain in order to better serve clients and NFT artists. We hope the Ethereum community can come together to remove mining and reduce gas fees that makes that makes it viable again. Ooh. This does not mean we are banning Ethereum completely. However, right now Solana offers features and performance that are too big to ignore. Interesting. Very, very cool. Art 2 coming to Solana first because Ethereum gas fees are too high. Epic. Don't know if it. Yes, it certainly can, Max. Can you send us a quick link? Doing it. Oh, Downmaker. Everyone loves Downmaker. Next up is Feral ACM. We got automated cover maker. So I saw this, didn't really know what it meant by automated cover maker. Let's go and check out what it actually means here. Liquidity for volatile events. Looks like we're kind of pre-launch or early days. Cool, they got use cases here for an ACM. Yeah, we're too early here. Quest a demo, we could actually see a demo as well. But we'll come back once they've built a little more there for automated cover maker. What is this? Some VCs ask teams to raise exclusively from them. Yeah, I don't agree with that either. Speaking of faucets, I tried to use faucets.blockxlabs.com this morning for Rinkby and failed. Didn't get any didn't get any uh, Rinkby ETH. But this was the first faucet that I had to actually sign in with an email, which I thought was a little weird. Actually, maybe the second. Um, but hopefully it works for you. Block, faucets.blockxlabs.com We got Thrift Finance here. They joined in May 2021. Let's see if this is legit or not. 
Looks like we have a mobile app that's coming soon. Uh, yeah, we're too early here for this one, that's for sure. So we'll skip Thrift. Next one up is um, RSGP, Old School RuneScapes Inspired Gamified NFT Yield Farming Platform Built on BSC. Cool. Getting more and more bullish about gamifi gamification and NFTs. Upcoming old, it can actually like help us make sense of like magic internet monies. Gamified NFT yield, so we're too early. It's uh, pre-launch. We just got a landing page. Development has started on May 18th. The RuneScape Grand Exchange on the blockchain. Items as NFTs. We are you. Cool. There's a temporary landing page. We'll come up with a new and final landing page in some time. Awesome. So gamification for DeFi on the Binance Smart Chain through RSGP. Here's Moon Radar. Complete risk analysis on BSC projects. Don't we need it? Follow us for hidden gems and moonshots. Awesome. Let's check out moonradar.finance. This is right up our alley. Cool website. We could whitelist ourselves, which would take us to a form, most likely. Oh, cool. This is powered by Gleam. I've kind of seen this before. Um, there's 27 days left in the whitelisting. There's 1,800 people already in there. I'll slap this in the actual... Um, Oh, sorry, Max. I'll go back and check out EPIC. We can enter using Twitter for one point. Oh, three, four things we got to do. Tweet, retweet, follow, enter, blah, blah. Let's go back to valuation propositions. Their mission is to make a DEX trading safer from rug pulls and honeypot scams. Moonraider analyzes contracts on key metrics, inform users of contract are not safe. Cool. They're having a token. Don't know if they need a token yet. Cool, they're launching MoonSwap, a DEX to trade audited projects. So that's kind of cool. If they launch a DEX that only you can trade audited projects, that'd be very nice on the Binance Smart Chain. I'd use it if they had comparable gas fees to others. Could be a theme that we see is that um, we do have some, because right now Uniswap, our leader, um, speaking of DEXs, here's KuSwap. DEXs right now kind of take a laissez-faire and a decentralized... Um, take where they don't really remove too many projects from their DEXs, but it could be interesting to see a private centralized DEX that's permissioned and say, all right, we're only going to verify certain tokens here and you know trade the good ones. More like a central exchange, I guess that would be. So I don't know if we want that again. Here's KuSwap. We could connect our wallet. I think this is on the... Um, so I need to switch to the KCC network or the KuCoin network if I wanted to do this. We could swap here. What kind of tokens do they have? KSW, KSC, Play Token, and then stable coins with wrapped ETH. Cool. So I don't know about KSW or the Play Token on KuSwap. You see on the KuCoin blockchain, KuCoin blockchain, we can add liquidity with two-sided liquidity, or we can mint Play Tokens too, which is testnet. Can't wait for the mainnet. No, I can't. So I think we'd have to find the KuCoin chain testnet to mint some play tokens. Might do that later. We have KuFarms if we want a KuLand, NFTs, and all of this different stuff are not clickable up here. So that's cool. We've got the KuCoin blockchain, kind of like Binance has their own blockchain. Now we've got a DEX there with three tokens to trade. Oh yeah, back to Epic. This guy, NRG Epic Whale, they're verified. Pope, the, the, they are a pro player for NRG GG, professional gaming family, cool, big time winner. They got a Twitch. They're related to Mousepad Company, currently shipping that stuff. Also high IQ. Uh, they're making a Mousepad Company. What about crypto? That is not the one. I didn't think so. Moving on. If you have a link, I'm happy to look at it. Here's Avaware. The Ava token, but I think they're actually changing the Ava token. 
Uh, there you go. Ava, AvaWare is going to be relaunching under a new ticker to avoid confusion because I think Ava Launch already has Ava. And you just don't want to fight Ava Launch, I don't, I don't think. But here's AvaWare. Builders building. They've got updates, uh, making progress and coin distribution. Let's go check out for airdrop. And then let's check out the mediums really quickly. Oh. Oh, thank... Wait a sec, the link one. Maxi, uh, the, I don't, I don't really know which one you mean. Making progress in coin distribution for Avaware. Let's quickly see if they have an airdrop. In-game distribution, cool for twenty-five percent of the token supply, hundred million token supply, forty percent goes to liquidity farming, twenty-five percent for private investors, too high, ten percent for Ava Labs, and yeah, so the forty percent. Um, and actually, we can go to Avaware dot farm. Here we go. Oh, it's not ready yet, but avaware.farm is coming. So you'll be able to farm your Ava token. Here's Wisdom Wizards, a decentralized learning management system. We're definitely, I think, pre-launch here, but a really cool concept. They're using Arweave. I think we had something down here that I wanted to mention. Oh, they did an on-chain AMA. I'm sorry, I forgot what I was going to mention here with um, with these guys. But at the end of the day, I'm bullish on anybody creating decentralized learning management systems around Web3. Wisdom Wizards. How many more? We've got two, four, five more today. How's our Minter's Vault going? Oh, yeah, that one's done. Here's Kyoko, pre-launch protoc protocol that creates the lending market for non-fungible tokens, which is a cool concept as well. They're based out of Singapore. If we go to Kyoko... Dot com. I think this is also just a landing page, kind of explaining what happens. Creates a lending market for NFTs. Got a little create an order, an accepted order, withdraw and deposit. That's about it. Trigger emergency. Cool. So they're coming. So they just launched kind of May 22nd, a couple of days ago. They've got some explanations here around collectors and founders and how Kyoko sits in the middle. Awesome. Kyoko, lending protocol for NFTs coming soon. I think we got a Tuk Tuk Finance here. DeFi farm built on the BitCup, BitCup chain. I didn't even know the BitCup chain existed. So I think we got a very, very aggressive play here. So if you're actually interested, could be definitely like a Southeast Asian themed play. Bringing DeFi down there. No real tweets. Here's Tiger's Finance. Built on Polygon, yield farming and yield optimizer, just like BSC, Polygon's getting a ton of yield farms. Their website's not even ready. I think they're done. They're cooked Tiger Finance, maybe. Here's Tomb Finance. They say they're coming soon. The first Tomb, st the first tomb token on Phantom. It's coming in May, so they've got a couple of days here left. Uh, they just tweeted back. Oh, here we go. On May 24th, another successful test round. They've got a Telegram and Discord. Everything is coming together according to plan. More info about the launch will be released soon. Don't miss it. So join their Discord. Cool. And last one today. CrocSwap. BSC. CrocSwap is a cross-chain DEX protocol to bridge your assets across networks, AMM with yield farms that run on BSC. A lot of people choosing BSC first. I guess over the last month or two, we have seen a lot more people not launching on um, Ethereum and launching on other blockchains. It's definitely been a theme. Let's launch the app and get straight into it. Cool. We've got a pancake swap, sushi swap, fork. 319,000. Total value locked. Market cap of 1.2 million, so it's really, really early days. Let's connect our wallet. Switch over to Binance Smart Chain. We go to the exchange. Cool, they do have their own exchange with quite with quite a decent token list here. They've also got farms paying high triple digits in yield, seven hundred percent, four hundred percent for two sided liquidity pools with their Crocs token CRO, CROX. They also work with an app called Polaris DeFi, which I haven't seen before. So we could go and get liquidity. Oh, they've got a Crocs liquidity pool on Polaris DeFi. Cross-chain bridge they're building is coming soon. 
Interesting. Let's go and check out Polaris DeFi. Don't think we've seen this one before. I'll drop that in the chat. Here it is. Fairly distributed competitive farming protocol and launchpad formed on Binance Smart Chain. We go to PolarisDeFi.com. Then we launch the app. And it's a, it, it looks like a pancake swap, sushi swap fork. They've got about 300,000 total value locked. And it looks like their pools right now. Don't know if they're working. Are they active? We're not getting any percentages here, so I guess we'll move on from Polaris. And that's it for today. A few, good, few different concepts today, a few, few different shit coins as well. If we have a look at big movers. Decently volatile day. A lot of tokens up over 100%. Anybody that's died today. Quite a few tokens that have died. Cool, if we have a look at DeFi really quickly. Biggest gainers in DeFi over the last 24 hours, hard protocol, DeForce, Enzyme. Rary governance token still a buy. They, they went down 9% not, not for the last 24 hours. Acropolis is down 9 Keeper Rook's down to 200 bucks, at, down 8%. And then let's quickly check NFTs as well. We'll check the coins. NFT has a $15 billion market cap at the moment. Theta Network, Chili's, and Engine Coin, and Decentraland still are still the um, biggest leaders. I would have a feeling you'd expect Flow blockchain. Looks, Flow looks like a really good deal. I know they've got a, they've got a much higher fully diluted market cap. I don't know why CoinGecko doesn't show the fully diluted. Well, let's see how the f decent buying opportunity for the Flow blockchain. If it's truly a blockchain, you could probably see, excuse me, going back to NFTs, um, Flow becoming the number one spot in um, NFTs because they're an actual blockchain that the rest of these projects can build upon. So I could see that happening, which means that Flow would go from 640 million into the billions, even though it looks like their um, fully diluted valuations already in the billions. And biggest gainers of the last 24 hours, Vibe. What is the Vibe token? Vibe Hub. And also biggest, we also had NFT Protocol, Origin Protocol, Unisox. They're back up to 55 grand. And our biggest losers of the last 24 hours, Alpaca City, Uniquely, Uniquely, Unifty, and A-N-R-K, Key X. Don't know what that is. And really quickly looking at Vibe, Here's Vibe Hub creating generation next gen NFTs and developing new standards for games on the blockchain. Cool. If we check out Vibe Net, excuse me, Vibe Hub.io. Mainnet Vibe vs. Mining. If this is a game, looks pretty cool. Let's launch now. We could play now. I don't really want to log in, so let's play now, and we'll do the test net. Please wait. So it's downloading. It's going decently fast. We might wait for this one. This is Vibe Hub. Milestone reached. They've surpassed 250,000 transactions. Cool. Importing film quality source content without noticeably less fidelity. Awesome. And here we go. We've got a little universe here. Little solar system. You can go check different star systems. Go click on little different planets. Here's one that looks like Earth. Cool. We go over to mining. Well, I'll stop there, but. Cool. It's not bad. That's Vibe Hub. That's probably where we'll end today. We're up slightly, so 
hopefully um, the pain stopped and hopefully we go from that 1.4 billion that we hit a couple of days ago back up to 2 billion and beyond for our total crypto market cap. Looks to me like we're about halfway through the bull run. We've got another good six months here until December. So we could see this 1.6. I'm very curious how high we'll go, but we're starting to get closer and closer to figuring out what the top of the bull run will be. So thanks everyone for listening. Really appreciate everyone that, that's here and that's in the research community. Um, I'll see you in there today. We'll be back at it, and we'll be back here tomorrow um, grinding, finding new organizations. So all the links are in the description. Uh, we had one or two very interesting concepts today, so you can check out those kind of specifically and just, just jump around. Thanks, everyone, for listening. We'll be back tomorrow. See you in the Research Discord. Bye for now. See you, team.